every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. <sighs> Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! 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 No, 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 no! There! What should I do? Me here too. Oh. oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Whoa! What darkness? Oh boy! Oh. Oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave. And Mila was definitely here! <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Hurrah. Look, Tig! Whoa. Here are her tracks! Awesome! Tig, hurry up! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! <sighs> Can we take 
take a break. No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh. Mila, don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait. Who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, but these pretty crystals started to show me the way! Crystals? Mila, I think I got it! It's the spirit of the tiger! Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff! I know how to get out of here! We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger! The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere! Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the tiger! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast. Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up! You're unbelievable. The spirit of the tiger is everywhere. 
but only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. The Rise of the Dragon. Tig, don't be such a bore. Join our race. Yeah, Tig. Up to the cedar on the top and back. I have more important things to do. I'm gonna wait for you down here. So, <laughs> the stripey's scared. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Whatever. Go on, Mila, give us a command. On your mark, get set, go! Paws against wings. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Leo! Leo! <sighs> okay, let's see who's the first to get down. So, Tig, looks like the Spotty got himself a new friend who is not a coward, unlike you. A coward? <laughs> Me? Look, look over there! They're coming! Oh, isn't Kino amazing? Flying like that. Kino's great. Kino's awesome. That's all I hear these days. Kino this, Kino that. No, you too, Mila. <laughs> Leo traded Tig for the winged one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Cuba, let's get out of here. Sure, go. The spotty doesn't need you anymore. You're no match for that feathery guy. <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> wow. Tig! Cuba! Where are you going? We don't have time. Cuba and I have more important things to do. We could come up with something more interesting than stupid racing. What's up with that? Something bugging him? It's not exactly bugging so much as pecking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. The earth is kind of trembling. Oh. Let's go to Mama Pendy. I bet he might know what's going on. Oh, they say that once before, a long time ago, the Earth would shake the same way. And here's what happened. The Great Mount, the one on the east, was friends with the wind. The mount really liked it when the wind would shake the tops of its pines. But one day, the wind flew up higher and started to play with the clouds. That made the mount angry. Suddenly, the sky turned dark. And then he, he appeared. Who? The dragon. The dragon? Yes. Giant like a mountain and ruthless like fire. No animal could get the best of it. But how? How was he stopped then? The wind. It flew close to the dragon and not alone. He brought along some clouds. They started whirling and dancing around. The dragon then calmed down and turned back into the great mount. The clouds wrapped it in a white blanket, and the dragon fell asleep. No! Oh, but now he woke up again! We have to find Tig. Let's go! I'll fly ahead! Guys, where are you going? Dragon woke up! <laughs> <laughs> we need to run! The, 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 oh, oh. The dragon! Oh, and here I thought Leo was my best friend. He's all, Kino, let's have a race. Kino, you're such a great flyer. <clears throat> oh, Leo, Leo. Oh, 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 the dragon oh, woke oh, up! Oh, he woke up! Hey, you! <laughs> what dragon? On the mountain, he woke up. Everyone's afraid of him. Everyone except me. I'm gonna go there and have a look. Check out this dragon. 
You coming with me? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go there alone. Then everyone will see that I am brave. The stripey lost his mind. Going right into the dragon's mouth. Martins, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Where is Tig? Where could he go? Cuba! Where's Tig? Mountain? Tig went up the mountain? But why? Well, where is this dragon? I'm gonna show him what's what. And after I'm done with this dragon, we'll see what Leo has to say. He'll probably be like, Tig, pretty please, let's play together. And I'll be like, no, Leo, go play with your Kino. Ah! friend. <gasps> Tig, look at that. Whoa. Leo, it's all quiet now. Do you think that means the dragon fell asleep? Yeah. Now we need to figure out how to get out of here. Oh. Hang on there, guys! I brought help! Grab the line, children. Climb up. And then Leo jumped to me and said, wherever you go, I go too. And then I realized that I was wrong. Ugh. And then the wind and the clouds and the dragon fell asleep again. Mappa Pandiga, why did the dragon fall asleep again? <laughs> I think it's, it's because Tig got the best of the dragon. What, the dragon? But I haven't even seen him. <laughs> Yay, Tig is the dragon slayer! Who? Me? Really? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Dragon Slayer, time to go home. Kino, come by tomorrow. 
I know a really fun game. We can play it together. Right. Play dragon. No! Anything but dragon! <laughs> Come on, Leo. <laughs> I swear I didn't get scared one bit. If this dragon ever comes my way... <laughs> 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 Every one of us has a dragon sleeping inside, and only you yourself can get the best of him. Bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <laughs> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? <gasps> Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <gasps> back! Back, I said! Uh, back! Uh, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Hmm. Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In a dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> So it means Cuba is going to be... Don't get 
yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. Take, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! One of their last years! Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head! I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> wee! 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 Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! We got you. We won't let anything bad happen to you. Look, Cuba. The sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tig. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Wait, wait, wait. Cuba! 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 Cuba, wait! Cuba! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, stop! Cuba, Cuba stop! Curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The black frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? 
Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! <laughs> Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Oh, uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! You lot running, not watching your step. Mila! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Mila! Mila's coming. Oh, that's Mila. He is so enormous. He's a hero. He saved our little boy. Yeah. What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero. safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast. In your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero, Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. It's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> My picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Oh, oh. Hey! Help me! Oh. Huh? Made it! That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on! Hero. It's nothing! Praise Seriously! The, the second deed! The second deed! Oh, your hero. royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero! Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again. The legend? Huh. What kind of legend? An ancient legend. 
It happened a long, long time ago. Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! Praise and now when hero! you are here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No, the hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, 
This is it. Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Beelza got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Ho oh, ho ho, greatest of heroes. Oh no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we use to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> the most precious thing. Tig, are you still sleeping? Come out here. Boom. Oh, sleeping. I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, uh, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there. Hey, wait! That's not fair. You have to say it on your mark and ready. Because, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week, uh, twice. Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in, the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, please, Help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. 
and suddenly he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Teed! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig, we completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! Let the competition begin right now! <laughs> the competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark, and get set, go! If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Help! Somebody help me! <laughs> I think it's coming from there. From the wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Help me, We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Take him! Hurry up! Please! Uh, Leo! Please! Help I can't me. go any further! Uh, I need to take a break! No time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Tig, winner! Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! Find him no matter what. 
Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mommy. Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> so, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> One to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna <laughs> train harder. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely getting there first. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> 